Alistair, first of all, welcome to Ongo Tiger. How does it feel to become the head coach of Ongo Tiger? Really, really proud, really delighted to be here. Uh, we've had talks for a good few weeks um, and the challenge and the project was, was completely right and um, really, really keen to get going and, and to make a real big success out of uh, next season. First time in Cambodia, first time been to different parts of Asia many times, but absolutely first time in Cambodia. Uh, could you talk briefly about your career? Because I'm sure many people uh, and our supporter would love to know about it, especially when knowing that you also used to work for Leicester City, yes. big club in England. Yes, no, I mean, spent a lot of years at Leicester City, uh, learned a number of things there, very grateful to to everyone at Leicester for um, helping me develop to get to this point now. Uh, I've spent a lot of time in Thailand uh, with footballers who are now playing at a very high level. I've coached at numerous levels in England with various different professional clubs, semi-professional clubs. And of course, when I very first started out football coaching, when I was I don't know, 17, 18 with grassroots football. So the progression in my career, um, I started at the very bottom and worked my way up. And it's obviously, you know, now off the back of seven years at Leicester, I found myself here and uh, really ready to, you know, kickstart the next, the next challenge. Well, I mean, it, it, it looks like it can be developed. Um, a lot of potential there for it. And I feel that with Angor Tigers, uh, I can kind of release that potential after what I've seen through hard work. Obviously, it's going to be a big challenge. Um, but, you know, Cambodian football um, certainly has the potential to to up the levels of what can be produced and um, looking forward to being a part of that. Mm -hmm. um, in Cambodian League, uh, there are many different foreigner coaches who come from like, everywhere around the world with different style of playing. What, what, what would you say, uh, what is your style of playing uh, that you think you could compete with other team and bring the team to another level? Well, I mean, my, my style has always been the same since I very first started coaching football and managing football teams and it's and it's a very simple style it's it's expansive it's attractive it's attacking um, looking to entertain the fans looking to get fans excited about what they're seeing looking to give the players the chance to express uh, express themselves on the on the ball so I'll be really really eager and keen to implement a high attacking high pressing entertaining way of playing football and looking to get results at the same time um, i'm a big winner massive winner uh, aggressive in, in everything i like my teams to do and those things there i'll be looking to implement into uh, into the team definitely Young yeah. And how much are you looking forward to work with them? Very much so. Um, you know, the age of the team is quite important to me. I, I, I want young, hungry players who want to achieve as much as they can. And, you know, that excites me knowing that there's a lot of good players, a lot of young players who, who, who want to be successful and um, with the right mentality that they should have. And if they haven't, then they'll have it by the time I've worked with them. Then um, 
there's a lot of potential and a lot of exciting times ahead with the players that we've got. No one, no one. I'm, I'm me, and I have my own ideas, my own ways, and uh, I don't look to anyone for inspiration or ideas. It's just me and what I've got. Um, what is your message to all the fans who's watching this? Look forward to a real attacking, entertaining way of playing football. I will do my very best to bring success. Um, I have in my own mind what I would like success to be. I'm not going to spell that out straight away. But um, I'll do everything I can to give the team, the area, the fans, um, the best chance of success. And obviously it's all about the fans. You know, if we can get as many fans in to watch games of football, because the team needs the fans. You know, the team needs the fans to make noise at games, to encourage the team. Because I know from my experiences in England that fans play a massive part in how the team performs. So, the team, the fans get behind the team, then I can guarantee that the team will give everything to the fans and give ourselves the best chance of winning games of football and being as successful as we possibly can. Thank you.